Hello everybody, my name is Rudolfo and I'm gonna help you guys to get your license in the boiler industry. So tonight I have seven questions for you guys and I will give you guys my best answer, okay? So let's start it. First question. What does Charlie's law state? What does Charlie's law state? So, Charlie's law is, okay, when the pressure of a given weight of gas is held constant, the volume will vary directly as the absolute temperature. If the volume is held constant, the absolute pressure will vary directly as the absolute temperature. Constant pressure over constant volume, okay? So, second question. What does Avogadro law state? What does Avogadro law state? Equal volumes of all gases at the same temp pressure and temperature contains the same number of molecules. This law is used to determine absolute zero. Equal volumes of all gases at the same pressure and temperature contains the same number of molecules. This law is used to determine absolute zero. What is the formula for Carnot cycle efficiency? What's the formula for Carnot cycle efficiency. So T1 minus T2 divided by T1. Where T1 is initial temperature and T2 final temperature. Okay. What's the formula for Napier's law? What's the formula? for Napier's law. Napier's law states that the flow of steam from higher pressure to a low pressure is proportional to the higher absolute steam pressure as long as the lower pressure is less than 58% of the initial higher pressure. So W equals PA over 70. Okay, so define enthalpy and define entropy. So enthalpy, it's heat content or total heat expressed in BTU per pound. Entropy, it's heat unavailable for work. What happens in a adiabatic process? What happens in a, a diabetic process? Heat, it's not transferred to or from the work substance. Work is done at the expense of the internal energy. Any adiabatic process would be reversible and isentropic. Heat, it's not transferred to or from the working substance. Work is done at the expense, expense 
of the internal energy. Any adiabatic process would be re reversible and isentropic. So you will find this at a reduction, reduction station. Okay, reduce reduction station. What are the two components of latent heat? What are the two components of latent heat? Internal energy and external work where internal energy is defined as the heat require increasing the rate and amplitude of vibration among the molecules of a substance. We cannot calculate an absolute value for internal energy. External work energy is the heat required to change one pound of water into one pound of steam. We can calculate the absolute value of external work. Okay, guys. So latent heat, internal energy, and external work, where internal energy is defined as the heat require increasing the rate and amplitude of vibration among the molecules of a substance. We cannot calculate an absolute value for internal energy. For the other way, external work is the heat required to change one pound of water into one pound of steam. We can calculate the absolute value of external work. So guys, I understand today I got really, really tough with you guys with really, really hard questions, okay? Uh, the only thing here for a beginner, okay, that is important to say is uh, how you can calculate cycles of efficiency so BTUs per pound going out minus BTU of the fuel going in divided by the BTUs going out okay and enthalpy and enthalpy so you guys for beginners you guys need to know that enthalpy uh it's the heat expressed in BTUs per pound and you guys need to know the definition of latent heat to make it a little easier for you guys I would say is heat added to a substance that will change the state of the substance without changing temperature okay so the latent heat for water to become steam it's 970.3 BTUs and the latent heat from one pound of ice to become one pound of water is 144 BTUs so I see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.